is kind of a spot I think I'm picking out for my bathroom breaks. Stopped here on the way in to make a call. I'm gonna stop here now so I can use the bathroom. Enjoy the view for just a minute. Oh, I forgot to vacuum. Classes up front here. Oh, he's got some delamination. Oh boy, he's got me beat on the delamination. Didn't think that was possible. Oh boy, a bunch of motorhomes. Class A, Class A, all Class A's. It's the way to go. There's Class A, Allegro. Very cool. In spot works. I don't know if I get a phone signal up here though, so I might not be able to upload videos like I was hoping. Okay. And gas did quite well actually. It was just getting up there was uh ate up all the fuel getting up that hill oh yeah the rest area there's a few good ones around here found a couple over on Oregon side now too
eight hour stay of this one so I'll just do an overnighter or maybe I'll just take off whenever I get some sleep and get me some water I need it really bad to do dishes and take a shower oh, I'm starving too I'll make some lunch Let's go out and take a walk around, make sure everything held up pretty good, make sure everything held up okay. Yeah, I smell oil burning, but I don't see it. What the fuck is that? Hmm, is that where the oil is coming from? That's coming from my cooler. Oh, it is. Crap. Losing transmission fluid. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to add oil. After the trip out there, I think I lost about a quart. Yeah, that transmission oil cooler. More like motor oil, though. Hmm. All right, things look pretty good. Except for that oil leak. Uh, I'm gonna dig into that here in a little bit and just let you know what's up and then I'm gonna go back to the ranch and get that fixed as well as the other thing that I can't think of right now. Air compressor. Okay there's no oil getting on the dipstick so it ate up uh, another quart on the way back. Quart and a half However much that is, it's eating up quite a bit of oil and it's not getting on the ground. So I'm thinking it's valve guide seals. It doesn't really seem like it's burning any oil. I don't know. Maybe it's dripping out onto the ground while I'm driving and I'm not seeing it. Uh, along with the compressor, it's um, going to be uh, probably another week or two at the ranch. It's not dripping on the ground, but it's going somewhere. Uh, anyway, let's get some blinds up. things down by a couple degrees. Okay, plans are set. I'm going back to the ranch on Friday to um, take apart that engine and figure out what's happening to all my oil. Uh, there was, I think I already told you, there was no oil on the dipstick. It's, uh, it's just eating oil too quick. It's making me nervous. So I'm, I'm going to take a, I'm gonna dig into it a little better this time. I also need to work on getting a new compressor. I might, if I can, I'm going to try and get a whole system. Uh, a new tank, a new compressor, something that's actually meant for that. That little tire compressor, I am not surprised it has burned out. I am shocked it lasted this long, in fact. Uh, running all the time when I'm driving. When I'm taking corners, air gets let out of the bags gets put back in that I often look down and see the red light on the compressor on letting me know that it's running and it does run every day every time I drive this RV and for a good amount of good amount of time 
Um, so that, yeah, it would be a good idea to get a proper compressor for this thing. But I think first we'll take it apart to see why it's not, uh, might be just an O-ring or something I can replace. If I could save money, I will. But it's just, it's pumping, but it's barely, I put my, I took the intake filter off and put my finger over the hole and it's barely sucking. Um, so, yeah, I need to look at that too. can't quite relax, so I'm starting a list for the ranch. And before I forget one thing, uh, because I think the lid leaks and I'm worried about moisture getting into it. Or maybe the lid doesn't leak, but somehow, or maybe the rim was just dirty. At, there was a point when it was leaking out the top of the brake master cylinder, so I want to make sure that's not still leaking. Um, and make sure that the fluid isn't turning brown from absorbing moisture. I think it changes brown when it gets some moisture in it, so if I have to change it, I will. I even have a new thing of brake fluid, so maybe I will anyway. Water oil and trans leak. Probably going to be a few more other things to be added. I'm so tired. With 11.4 amps coming in. Clean this thing. Add that to the list. Clean screens. Like the windows too are probably could use a dusting. About to pour some water. Figure out what to eat. Upload a video first, I think. What time is it? Yeah, I should upload while there's solar. Because I don't feel like running the generator. I'm not going to start the noisy one. I keep that unplugged because this draws about 30 watts. Yeah, 30 watts, just doing nothing. Now yeah, that's doing 60. Probably topping off the battery. I don't know if it's safe to turn the PC on while it's doing its startup mode. I usually do, but... Let's wait for it to... Right. To finish its clicks. Clean the. You clean that monitor too. Lots of cleaning. I should just put down. Uh, clean house. Need to wipe down. I need all the dust out of here. It gets bad. I don't know if it's because of the carpet or just because of a closed uh, or the small area that I'm living in but uh, yeah the dust is really bad need to turn on my hot spot just leave that right there everything's still doing good up on that thing all right let's get a video uploaded let's get some water in me and hopefully get some rest
at some point. Boy, the trucks just coming and going nonstop are just, it gets me up and antsy. I'm worried about getting run into, I don't know. 